Interview and Job Search Strategies at Work, Episode 30. So today I'm very excited um, to announce, I've had it for a while, right? But um, I have a course on Udemy. I actually have two courses on Udemy. One is a Commvault version 10 course, and the other one is a Commvault version 11 course. Um, so in the Commvault version 11 course, I take everyone through um, how to become a backup administrator um, and from start to finish, essentially. So you don't have to know anything. I teach you how to install Microsoft uh, Windows. I teach you how to install uh, Linux, Ubuntu, basically. I teach you how to uh, put the Windows server on a domain, like an Active Directory domain, put the Linux box on the Windows Active Directory domain, install Commvault version 11, set up uh, media agents, set up uh, file agents, set up um, SQL agents and Oracle agents and Active Directory agents. I also teach you how to actually set up your own instance of SQL, SQL Server 2014, as well as Oracle uh, 12C database. So I give you an example of um, how to create a table in, in both Oracle and SQL. And um, also in the course, I also teach you a little bit about Amazon AWS Cloud, basically how to back up to the cloud. All of these skills apply uh, in the IT field. And, you know, you, you, you can take these skills and apply them to uh, a job and, and easily find something within uh, after completing the course. The course, I'm actually still continuing to add on to it right now, adding more to it as it goes on. It's available at, like, uh, so let me give you the URL. It's udemy.com slash slash commvault, C-O-M-M-V-A-U-L-T dash version, V-E-R-S-I-O-N dash 11, the number 11, dash training, T-R-A-I, T-R-A-I-I-N-G. So it's Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y dot com. The other thing you could do is just type my name in, com, uh, in Udemy, uh, just search for a course, put my name in there, Gary McNeely, in, that co in the search for courses, and I have two courses in there. Both are, one is called B Become a Backup Administrator, and the other one is called um, how to get how to get your Commvault V10 version 10 working in two hours. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I figured I'll tr I'll teach people what I know, and then uh, they can use those skills to get get a job. This portion is actually an actual interview uh, for a work from home job, uh, in which you'll hear you know. Um, the person talking about the job and then the interviewee explaining uh, hit, uh, their skill set. Uh, so just give you a little background or some information on uh, the duties that you would ex you could expect. Uh, I would be taking incoming calls from mm -hmm. assisting customers book new reservations, redeem rewards, change or cancel airline ticket and hotel reservations, and implementing coaching advice from quality and leadership teams. Uh, so after learning a little bit more, are you still interested in this position? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, so let's see. First, uh, have you ever worked for uh, the position we have is full time? Are you available to work forty hours a week? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, can you please describe uh, any previous experience you have in the travel industry? Well, I don't have a um, um, experience for travel agency, but I have experience for customer service, and at this time, I'm working in as a home well, agent and also I traveled a lot so I love working a lot I like I love working like ever since I was thinking how can I have a job for travel since I traveled a lot it's like I did travel twice a year or some sometimes three so just I'm, I'm so interested about it and I'm easy like I I'm easy to learn if ever there's a training I can really go on through the training also I work with the multi people I can speak three languages and all that so 
I guess it's not really hard for me to cope up uh, everything that is like if it's train there's a training I can be in a training also and learn from there. Okay. Uh, the wage for this position is eleven twenty five. Is that acceptable to you? Yes. All right. Uh, here. Uh, so our training uh, class is uh, four weeks long, Monday through Friday, two thirty p.m. to eleven. PM Central. Uh, do you see any concerns uh, with, or do you have any concerns about not being able to attend uh, any of these training sessions? No, I'm good. I get, I'm, I'm fine with that uh, timings and also the, the days or I have to be there for a whole training. I don't mind. I'll be there. Okay. Uh, the shifts we're offering are 2.30 p.m. through 11 p.m. Central and includes one weekend day uh, on. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, you would have one weekend day off and then one weekday off. Okay. Uh, if, uh, is that acceptable to you? Yes. All right. Uh, which, week de uh, which weekend day would you prefer to have off? Sunday. I want to have an off on Sunday. All right. Sunday. And which weekday would you prefer to have off? Sunday. And then on is Saturday. It's like if I have to work on Saturday, I don't mind. Okay, and uh, which, which day of the um, like normal working week, Monday through Friday, would you prefer to have off? Oh, one day to Friday. Oh, sorry. It's like you're looking for Monday to Friday, right? Well, I'm saying so you said you wanted Sunday off, so you would yeah. have two days off. So be oh, Monday, so, so let's say, oh, okay. Let's say Sunday, Monday. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. All right. Do you have high speed internet currently? I do. Uh, yes, sir. I do have. Okay. Are you able to, to supply an ethernet cable for our workstation? I have right now because I'm working at home still since the date. So I'm connected to the wired. Uh, we do require a $100 deposit that would be taken out of your second paycheck receipt. Mm -hmm. In the event of separation from the company, either voluntary or involuntary, the full amount of the deposit will be refunded to the employee once all provided equipment has been returned. Uh, if the equipment is not returned, the employee forfeits the deposit and is also responsible for the fees, uh, which would be $500 taken out of the last paycheck. And that will all be outlined in the equipment return policy. Okay. Okay. All right, do you have an air of your home that is free from excessive noise and distractions? Yes. All right, uh, do you have any uh, time off needs over the next three months? Um, no, I don't have a plan at all yet. Maybe next year. <laughs> okay. Uh, these uh, next couple questions will be a little bit more open-ended. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me an example where your ability to listen effectively and ask good questions helps you exceed a customer's expectations? Let's say... Just like an experience uh, oh. that I previously had. Ah. That into that, uh, okay, so like some customers like... Um, um, I was working also this time. I'm working as a customer service. So with that situation, some customer really like rate and all so I have to be like listen carefully understand what's the customers needs and what they want and like let them talk and I have to listen and understand their situation so those kind of thing and then from there I can answer what's the problem where the problem started and how can I help them so, all right mm -hmm. In your opinion, uh, can you list five important skills for customer service representatives to have? Um, sometimes, like, like you know, that like know the customer, know the situation, know, um, like customer. It's always customers first. So whatever it is, have to listen and understand the customer. Those is kind of thing like, okay, uh, why the customer is what's going on? When why is it happened? Where the problem started? Those kind of things. Okay, providers 
and QA teams listen to calls and provide ongoing feedback and coaching. Mm-hmm. How do you uh, take feedback, or how do you take and apply feedback, and what do you believe the value in this feedback is? Um, feedback from the customer? Uh, feedback from uh, QA or supervisors. How do you like that? What do you mean by how do you like, okay. Well, um, some like feedbacks from like, like QA on a supervisor. Sometimes like maybe that's kind of like not good, but from there I can learn. So learning from them and start from what they feedback is to me. So I have to learn from that because if there's no feedback, I will not grow. I have to learn from them. Like, okay, you didn't do like this. So I have to learn from that. It's like, why well, you didn't, it was like, if um, my Asmi says that you should follow whatever should be done, like in the company policy, right? So, uh, of course, there's a feedback from management. Let's say I didn't follow or from the Asmi. So, I have to learn from there. Good listening and, you know, with understanding. All right. Uh, so, uh, those are all the questions that I have. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I'm going to uh, forward the information over to our hiring manager. Okay. And uh, at that point, they'll decide uh, if they're going to seek a second interview. So this interview was uh, pretty good. It was for a work-from-home job, basically, um, that anybody could do, right? I mean, it's um, basically they give you four four weeks, roughly, of, of paid uh, training, essentially, for you to figure out um, if you want to do that job, essentially, right? And so that's the that's the beauty of a lot of these um, um, these jobs, particularly this one, where you can work from home, and your commute time is zero, basically. You know, your your salary is is nominal, but it's good if you're if you're working at McDonald's or Job, and you want to move up into like the IT industry. This is really ideal, really. Um, you know, your out of pocket expenses, if you will are um, sometimes you have to buy your own computer, uh, which could be like $300 or so. Um, you Your other expenses could be like a Logitech microphone as well as internet. So internet's roughly, depends on what carrier you have, anywhere from $20 to $100 a month, right, for for that. And so those are, those are some of the expenses you can incur by just getting that uh, type of position. And um, that's why it's really critical when you when you do have this role, absorb all the training they give you, and so and apply it to future jobs. So thanks everybody for listening to this podcast, and have a great day.